while we had the attention of our wellness coach, Rebecca, we decided to talk heat. We had some of the hottest temperatures in April since the National Weather Service started keeping record back in the 1930s. Now, we've been giving safety tips for many years here in the desert, but she had some advice I hadn't even heard before. So we live in the desert. We know what we're in for when the late spring and summer months hit. But there are some things even us natives need to be reminded of, and many things new residents may benefit from hearing. So we enlisted the help of wellness coach Rebecca Soretsky to walk us through do's and don'ts of the desert heat, starting with something that may not heal if damaged by the sun. I think it's important to remember to protect our eyes. You're only given one set of eyes. They don't really heal that well. So it's a great idea to remember to wear good quality sunglasses. Uh, you want to look for ones with UVA and UVB protection on them. And they'll be like a little sticker usually on the lens so you know. When it comes to kids, they get so caught up in playing outside, they often won't come in from the heat until it's too late. It's very tough. I know I deal with that with my own kids. Sometimes I'll put just a little bit of Gatorade in their water to make them drink a little bit more. And I'm always reminding them to keep drinking and trying to make sure they're not playing outside too much in that heat in the middle of the day. Did you know pets can get sunburn? They can, particularly on their noses and if they are light skinned. The pads of their feet are very vulnerable this time of year. Mornings are the best time to walk your four legged friends. Because they need to be outside. They need their fresh air trying to take them out in the morning as the sun is rising or as early as possible because that pavement gets super hot on their little feet and they, they don't know. They don't know they shouldn't be outside. So we kind of have to think for them a little bit. Those hours apply to us as well. Morning is best for exercising. Usually 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. are the worst hours to be out in the heat. As early as maybe like 5 a.m. is a really good time. That sun's just barely coming up. As we've discussed, the pavement isn't as warm when you're out there, so the heat isn't radiating up as much. You can't do early morning. Try for as late in the evening as possible. You can swim, really, at any time, as long as you follow proper sunscreen and hydrating rules. But summertime, unfortunately, is a time tragedies unfold, when families are trying to cool off and have fun. Rebecca says, never let your guard down. Even if your kids know how to swim, please never leave your kids unattended in the pool. It only takes them getting out in the middle of the pool, getting a little bit exhausted. They don't have the strength and they can go under so fast. I've heard so many stories about parents. I ran inside, I just wanted to, I had to go to the bathroom, get a drink, whatever and things happen. Being present isn't enough. Being present with your eyes on the kids and not your phone is what's really required. And finally, there is never a safe time to leave kids or pets in a car without the air conditioning running. Even in the shade, even with the windows cracked, never. Summertime is supposed to be a time for vacations and family fun. With a few precautions, we can all make sure we don't get beat by the heat. Rebecca had another tip when it comes to using sunscreen. She said, don't forget your lips. Use a lip balm with an SPF of 15 or more. As for pets, when our extreme weather, there really is no such thing as an outdoor pet. Unless your yard is equipped with misters, plenty of shade, and a bowl that is not metal and is constantly refilled with cold water, they really belong indoors for most of the day. Putting them in a confined space is kinder than leaving them outside in the heat.